Works Free CBE is a full electronic design tool. It allows for schematic and PCB designs to be created within each of those editors. It also has a full library editor for footprints and symbols. If you have a symbol, you can place it directly from the library editor and onto your schematic sheet. We also have support for supplier information. If I select a component and select supplier links, I can go and add any number of suppliers that are needed to my component. It allows me to see information such as the manufacturer, values, tolerances, pricing, quantities, and even the data sheet. If I negotiated pricing, it will bring those in when I generate my bill of materials. Here you can see the different suppliers in the list up above. And if I click OK, it adds it to the schematic. I can also use the automated engineering change order for any items that may be added or removed from my schematic. And when I push that or update the PCB, it will show a detailed report of all the changes that have been made since the last time it was updated. It gives me the complete list and it allows me to report those changes as well and keep it with the project. When I'm in the PCB, I have design rules that I can go ahead and set up. I can also use my differential pair routing. I have a differential pair on this board. If I go ahead and select one of the traces, it automatically brings them both together. And I have a neck down rule allowing me to go in and use that as a guideline to auto-complete my routing of my traces into the ball grid array. There is also collaboration for SOLIDWORKS. And when I go into 3D mode, you can see all those models that were added to my library are now showing in the PCB editor. There is full collaboration with SOLIDWORKS. And you can see I can go ahead and make comments to the mechanical person and post that to a collaboration server. Once that's posted, then I can open up my SOLIDWORKS tools and I can go ahead and view any of those changes right from within the SOLIDWORKS PCB add-in. And at the point in time when I, I go ahead and view those, if I accept all of them, I can go ahead and rebuild my entire assembly. And notice on the left-hand side as it's rebuilding, it also has a tree of each of those components. It, the information in the component for the model is transferred from the SOLIDWORKS PCB tools as a Parasolid data format. And because that is a native format in SOLIDWORKS, it pulls them in automatically and will rebuild it as you see in the tree here. It does go ahead and build any components that are through hole. Um, it will place each of those holes in your assembly. And so you can edit the board outline or move around components once that is fully complete. And if we go ahead and see this, you can see those models being built. I can also have my own models in SOLIDWORKS. If I want to use a path, um, maybe I have a toolbox that have models already set up, I can define that and it will use those instead of those pushed from the ECAD side. Now I'll just go ahead and move around that component and then I can make a comment back to my electrical person and post that. So the next time they open up that project, they know immediately what changes were made. In the SOLIDWORKS PCB tools, I see the view changes highlighted. I can accept that change and it will go ahead and immediately show within the PCB workspace. I can also choose to go in and move around additional components. Notice if I go ahead and try and put anything on top of another component, it shows me a DRC area. That is because my design rules are set up and my online DRC checking is enabled. And it will flag me 
in that color. Once your design is complete, you have it wired up, the placement is good, it's, it abides by your mechanical constraints, then you can output any of the documentation needed, such as your bill of materials, your Gerber files, your assembly drawings, your NC drill files, and any other documentation to support the design. This is a comprehensive electrical design tool.